Welcome to my channel, guys. To everything today, we're going to learn how you can verify your Google AdSense account here in Nigeria using your ID cards. Any of your ID cards, you can verify your Google AdSense account. You know, you know, Google AdSense, what Google AdSense is if you're a blogger or a YouTuber or you are on the online entrepreneur or, or infopreneur, you will know what I'm talking about. So, for you to verify your Google AdSense account in Nigeria using your ID card. You know there are some that are, uh, kind of uh, ID card that is accepted by Google for you to verify your account. What are these uh, documents? What are these ID cards? One is your international passport. It's one of the required uh, one of the required uh, documents for you to verify your Google AdSense account. If you don't have international passport, they also expect you to have a national ID card, original national ID card, original national ID card. So if you have that, you can also verify your Google Assets account in Nigeria. Or if you don't have that, you can also use a driver license. These are the three main documents that are required by Google to enable you verify your your Assets account, Google Assets account, to enable you start receiving payments from Google Incorporation. So if, if you are in, in Nigeria and you are looking at, oh, how do I verify my my Google Assets account? This video is for you. Most people we we, we we do it and the account will be blocked because they don't know how to get it verified. How to get it verified. They will have the ID card but they don't know how it will how you can go about it to verify that. So with this video we're going to teach you how you can verify that your account, that Google AdSense account, you know Google AdSense account or even your Google AdMob account, you know, your Google AdSense and Google AdMob the sister companies. You know, for Google AdSense, we enable you now to receive, uh, you know, payments if you are a YouTuber or you are a blogger and all that. But if you are AdMob, you know, your AdMob also enable you now to receive a payment if you are a an app designer. If you design app, publish on Google Play Store with AdMob, you'll be able now to do what to receive your payments. But we're talking about AdSense now, Google AdSense account or AdMob, but they record, all of them are the same means of verification. Either your national ID card. Which is the original one, or your travel license, or your international passport. But we're going to use a demo, a demo picture, to see how you can prepare the the document for verification. Because uh, most time, when you want to up upload the detail, that that document must be what it must not be blunt, it must not be that, it must not. Be. So they will, they will give you some specification. And when you do it more than three times, your account will be blocked. So, but, but with this video, we, have to, we are going to teach you or let you know teach you how you can get it verified once without you having issue with the fact that oh the, the document is bending this way or it's not bending that way we also let you to know the kind of software you are going to use so they can upload a, a document that is very very beautiful that Google can easily accept without you doing more than once you know before they will accept it so that's what this video is all about so we're going to show you how you can go about it for you to get that account verified what you have to do is first of all make sure that your account, your um, ID card is valid. Your driver license must be valid, or your national ID card must be valid, or your international passport must be valid. So you, you must not use anyone that has expired. So it must be valid, must be up to date before you can use it to verify that account. You know that's why we are, you know, you know that's why we produce this video so that you don't go there and, and put it and put it more, more than two times. Once you do the third, third time, the account will be your account will be blocked. So it's better we give you information that's why this guys this this uh, channel is there to assist you to guide you on how you can go about this and go about it successfully so i want to tell you how, uh, to, well, that's, that's what I'm teaching how you can go, go about that so to do that all you have to do if you, are, you have ascertained that the document is valid is among the strength that i mentioned the next thing to do after you are sure that these documents are valid and it's the required the, the requirement of google those three i mentioned not don't use any other document you know apart from this thread that i mentioned so that your account will not be it will not be blocked and the, the particular the what i'm going to use here now is not somebody's id card it's just a prototype i'm going to use so you see i'm just giving a disclaimer so that when you just see it's not say ah i'm using somebody's as you say you know um uh, id card for this particular video i'm just giving a disclaimer that this particular id card i want to use for this video is not owned by anybody this for just this is purpose only for us to guide nigerians on how they can get their account verified by google so they, they i'm not using anybody's uh, ssl uh, id card 
it's a demo, it's a prototype that I want to use now to show us how this can be done, you know, using the application I'm about to show us now. So let's go go to the next page as we see how to go about that. So the doc the uh, there's a software you have to download. The you have to go to you go to just go to Google and type photo photoscape. Go to Google and type what what I call it photoscape. It's an application that will help you to do what to make your picture to be very very you know um to have a very good quality good quality picture you know high resolution picture that can be accepted by Google. So you go to just go to Google and type photoscape. What did I say? Photoscape. As you type that photoscape, you download the application on your desktop computer or your or your, your phone or your your iPad um, your iPad or your laptop. Once you download that photoscape, you know execute it, launch it and it will just show you how you come up like this, what you are seeing on my screen now. And because Google expects you now to do what? To add your ID card, both front and back. Some people just add only front, they will return it. You do it again a second time, they will return it. You do the third one, the account will be blocked. So Google expects you to do what? To add front and back of that ID card for the verification. So you add the front, you add the back. So that's why this application is very, very good for you to use for that verification. So once you have opened this application, where well, it's called Photoscape, you open it this way. All you have to do is just go to combine. You hear you see this application, you see here they say combine. Because why you, why is it combined? Because you are combining the front uh, um, ID, uh, picture or the, the, the front ID card and the back ID card. This time around you must have you know scanned your ID card. Just scan it, scan the front and back and upload it into this photoscape. So and when you upload this uh, photoscape to upload it, you have to go to combine so that you can be able to put the first one which is the front side and put the, the other one which is the back side of it. Like I said before, this picture I'm using here now is a pro you could see this nobody's name. It's a it's a what it's a it's a prototype. You know, it's just a dummy um a national ID card. So you should understand what you can use, you know, for you to do your verification. It's nobody's uh, ID card. You understand me? So you see it's a dummy ID card that I'm using front and back to sh for this video only. So um once you have uploaded use combine, once you have uploaded upload the first one, use add add document also add the first just click on add documents you just go to where you scan the documents upload it here and after that you do another one you do another one, add another one which is the back uh, of it once you have done that cool you have done a very good job this application is very 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 good you know that will produce you a very a nice picture quality that could be accepted by google once you have done that you have to separate it so that they will know that they are different documents so how do you do that you just come here you separate them you know, make sure that the whole side of the 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 ID card is showing, the four corners of the ID card is showing. You know that no place should be cut because if anywhere is, is cut, Google will reject it. So you just make sure that you separate the margins. Make if you can see that two of them are touching together, you can use this one to add a margin. That's for add margin. You know, so that they will see that the whole thing is showing, not that you, you, the passport is caught anywhere, you know, the ID card is caught anywhere. So internal, you know, margin, so you can also add, make your adjustment, and you see it's moving, so you can adjust it anyhow you want. After that, you see that you have to separate, it's like the whole background is on white, so it's showing everything. So this one, now, we don't know whether it's front and back or that separated. What you have to do is just go to, do, just to color the margin, so that the, the the front and back uh, side of the ID card will be differentiated. So you just come here, you can use a black background to color it so that the, the front and back will be separated. So you just will proceed fine. So any person that sees it will know that, oh, this one is the front, the other one is the back. So we have separated it in the way that it will be accepted. You see, the margins are very big, so you can reduce the margins so it will not be so big so that the, the size of the picture will not be much. You see, from here now, after margin, I'm reducing it. You see, I'm reducing the the and also reduce the internal margin if it's also too too big so you could see so I've, I've reduced it so this one now can fly you could see so with this now you have already prepared the picture that the google is uh, asked you to send for the first verification you know, the first second verification is about your pin that they will send to you through your uh, um, address but this is the major one once you pass this one that one will come and you can also verify that but this is the major one that you have to do that's very very difficult that once you up put the if you upload this um, 
um, ID card three times without following this process or a, a very good process, your account will be blocked. So that's why we are just teaching you this video how can, that can be done. So once you have done that, you just click on save, you know, save to a location on your phone or your desktop or your laptop or whatever. Just save it. Once you save this one, this is what you just upload to Google for acceptance. I believe this tutorial is very helpful. You see, that's how what you have. Once you send it once, once they will to be accepted and your account will be verified. You know, it took me time for me to be able to figure all this out. I said, no, I have to let Nigerians to know how this can be done without your account being blocked. So that's how you can get that done. So the, the software to download is photos, Photoscape. Once you download the Photoscape, you could see it's very easy for you to do. So if you have if you have issues doing it, maybe you could not do it or something, don't forget to use the comment box below to just send us, you know, uh, a, a comment and we can, uh, we can assist you to get it done as quickly as possible. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any comments, any challenge with your verification, do not, do not hesitate to let us know and we will guide you on how to get that done effectively. Like I said, this picture here is not anybody's picture. It's a dummy picture. That's a disclaimer. It's not anybody's uh, picture. I just use now for this uh, purpose of this uh, tutorial to enable you to understand how this is done. So don't forget to use your comment box below to just give us your, your feedback. And don't forget to subscribe, click the red button below and ring the bell for me. There's a bell icon there. Click on it so that subsequent videos will be making you will get it you know directly. And don't forget to share this, you know, among your, your platform, your Facebook pages and all that. So people that are also having issues verifying their their Google Assets account or AdMob account, this is very, very good for them. So thanks for watching the video. You know, God bless you. We we'll see you, see us. We'll see you in an essay uh, video. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Subscribe to the channel and share the video. Bye.